Hello and welcome, my dragon transforming leaves. I am very excited today because we start our journey through my favorite Breath of Fire game, Breath of Fire 4. And yeah. First, we look at the opening, of course. Thus, uh, we'll wait a bit, it only takes a few seconds, and then the opening rolls. And that opening is very low resolution, but it's beautiful stuff. <laughs> so. Yeah, let's go. Somehow, nowadays we don't have like openings like this anymore. It's a bit weird. Game's getting more expensive, but they don't do this anymore. They do it anymore. They just don't show it before you start the game anymore. Uh, so you see it the first time and start the game. Yeah. Ah, there, the beautiful drink. Look at it. I love how this looks. I have a feeling I could understand what he's saying, even though my Japanese isn't the greatest, but... The voices are so low volume, sadly. Also, I guess, spoiler, because this is seen from, like, completely at the end of the game. I mean, they show it here, so I can say it. this was basically the final battle just now. So, whoa. Thanks for that, I guess. Didn't really show much. Why is our internet so bad? I don't know. Is the stream running fine? Uh, just start buffering. <sighs> what the heck? Yeah, let me press the start button so that the opening doesn't go again. Will you catch yourself, please? You guys can follow me on Instagram as well. This is Big Ed. In fact, this is Big Ed on Instagram, YouTube. Um, I don't know Twitch. who that weird guy is, but we should block him. Um, I'm grinder. I'm just kidding. That's a joke. Uh, potentially. <laughs> Have you ever tried doing stuff there? like that? Just like random. random yeah, I did stuff. this to his stream you know earlier. I'll do it. So. We'll do it. We're gonna also, yeah, uh, new Gundam Michael Gaming is back into streaming. He that streams was, every uh, week now, oh, every no. Saturday. Hey, He's going to do it. It won't let you do it. Yo, so check I him like out. Chinese Follow him. Food and the wonton soup. Get me broccoli while I play Monopoly. Don't be a But is the stream Busy okay now? Because it's your fantasy or to eat Chinese food. Uh, the grill and chop suey. Okay. I use okay. chopsticks to eat. I mean, it's between 5 sticks. and 7,000 kilobytes per second, so. Should be fine enough. Like with every game, you first go into options. Also, I need to get used to triangle being cancelled because. Old games be like that. Vibration. Give me vibration. I have no idea if the, vibra vi the, the vibration actually works. No, let me run automatically. Uh, yeah, let's put the BGM a bit down, but just a bit. Okay, the buttons. Screen position. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. So... Now let's go into the game. Let's start. Yeah, of course we're called Ryu. No, stop that. We are starting the game or I will definitely unmod you. You have no right to complain. I don't do this on story time. You do it all the time, yes? You even do it when he wants to raid out. Because I didn't want him to raid out.
There's a lot of black in the beginning here. It all started on the third day after we had left the castle. That morning, we had entered the great desert on a sand flyer. Yes, mod abuse. You are correct, Kemo. Also, welcome. We were heading toward the town of Sinesta, the last known location of my sister, Alina. Sinesta lies on the edge of the desert. All we had to do was cross the desert. Look, Cray, a shooting star. We'll find her. Won't we, Cray? Also, to have full transparency, I do use a money cheat, so we have infinite money just to cut off a lot of grinding. That would be way too boring. <coughs> Other than that, the game is just the game. Don't worry, Nina. We'll find her. I swear it. <coughs> the music sounds like Zelda. And it's very beautiful. What? What? Did the music just start? Or has it been playing the whole time? It just started. Okay, because I'm behind and I can't see music. Yeah, okay. Chapter 1 Awakening. Yeah, we won't do like a chapter per stream because there are like, I think, three or four chapters. They are long chapters. Oh, it's hot out here. Uh, while we're at this, do you mind charting out Kimosoto real quick? Go fuck it, Sats. What is that game? Biomute? Okay. A game, okay. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Trademark. Oh, don't worry, Cray. I'm alright. I was just thinking that it's probably better if we won't move around during the day. Let's find some shade and wait until the sun goes down. Eh, the desert has a different plan for you, I guess. Really, I'm alright, Cray. Besides, I want to find my sister as soon as possible. Am I weird for preferring avatars like these in a text box over the portrait above a text box? Know what I mean? Like full body art? Mm -hmm. I kind of like this more. But then again, games that do those full body art stuff, nothing ever happens. Nothing is moving when they talk, right? There are games that have real physics in there. Fuck jiggle physics, though. <laughs> oh, that was Biomutant. Is it any good? I'm still like, should I get it? I once pre-ordered the, like, the really big collector's edition. And then that one got cancelled and the game kind of disappeared for a while. And then suddenly it was released. I didn't even notice it was. It was weird. Come down. We've come this far. It won't hurt to rest for a while. Not much of a change if we get there today or tomorrow. 
I don't know, that can be a... Like... There can, could be a change in that. What the... A dragon? I'd heard there was a dragon in the desert. But I was hoping we wouldn't be lucky enough to find it. I do like Rei more than I like Cray. I have to be honest about that. Though the Nina and Ryu in this game are better than, like, the other three. I have not played Dragon, uh, Dragon Quest, yeah, Breath of Fire 5, so, yeah, we'll do that after 4. That might change my opinion, but I have a feeling it won't. Here it comes! Also, some graphical errors due to playing on an emulator. I cannot really do anything about that. Oh wait, there's auto text, oh no. This already has more animation than a lot of RPGs nowadays. I've never heard of dragons attacking people before. Even if it doesn't mean to attack us, we can't let it hit us. Yeah, it might not really be attacking, just living its life, right? Blast it. No use, it's going to ram us! I really enjoyed Biomutant. My only complaint was that it wasn't worth full price. It wasn't triple A, it was more like AA. So a smaller battery. No wait, that's a bigger battery. No, wait. Which ones are the small ones? Triple A are small, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a bigger battery. Yeah, I wouldn't get it full price, probably. I know, maybe I'll get it one day and stream it or something. We'll see. It's no use. The sand's gotten into everything. Into everything? Ooh, I know that feeling. That's not nice. I can't fix it. Not without any spare parts. Do you think that dragon attacked us on purpose? Hard to say. We haven't seen it since then either. If it would have attacked on purpose, it probably would have wanted to eat you and it didn't, so... I guess it was just living its life. Well, whether it did or not... We should be thankful that we crashed near the edge of the desert, and not in the middle. Here, we're in walking distance of the towns along the desert border. <sighs> I guess they won't arrive today nor tomorrow, then. Do you think we can find the parts we need at one of them? Probably, but there's one small problem. If we leave our sand flyer here, we run the risk of it getting stoned by bandits. Not much point in going into town and coming back with spare parts if there's no sand flyer to use them on. Alright then, Cray. I'll go. But, Nina. I can't live my whole life with you looking out for me. For Sardas, what will my sister think? Alright, alright. You win, Nina. Let's see. If I remember right, there's a town called Sarai to the south of here. You might be able to find some parts there. Good luck, Nina. I'm counting on you. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. <laughs> Here, take this. It's the king's sword. I hope you won't need to use it. But better safe than sorry, right? Yeah, give a mage a sword. That's total RPG logic. See you when I get back, Cray. Safe trip, Nina. You watch yourself here. Uh, yeah. 
he just says where to go. And so one thing I like that you can do with her is this. She can fly and look around that way. That makes finding items so much easier. Uh, she cannot even equip the king's sword, I think. Yeah, only the bait on. And a fancy dress. Well, let's move on. Nothing much to do in the menu right now. Something is happening here, oh no. Somebody! Somebody help me! Is that a chocobo? Probably not, because this is not Square Enix. That would be a bit problematic. Wow, look at the size of that hole! That's what she said. Wah, 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 wah. That merchant and his goods must have fallen in. As did you. Just like this. There. There's something here. Do you see it? There's a dragon! I really like the Korean aesthetics this game has. They look great. I don't know how accurately Korean they are, but, well... It's not attacking? It's not a monster, I guess. Imagine, like, an actual HD remaster of this. This was looks so good. And finally we get to see our protagonist. That was funny. For some reason, I wasn't scared at all. A person? And the first thing we will see is him naked. Whoa! And with that war, he must be already equipped with a sword. <clears throat> right? Um... They're looking at me! If you wouldn't mind, do you think you could put on some clothes? I'm sure you can find some in the carriage there. I love how he looks down. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I am naked. Oh. <laughs> like... As if he's like, startled by it, but very slow realizing it. Oh, so you mean you're not working with that merchant who was the here? How did you get inside this crater then? Did you fall in? How did such a big hole get here in the first place anyway? Did you see that monster that was here before? You know, the one that looked like a dragon or something. I wonder what it really was. Oh, I'm sorry. You probably don't know the answers to those questions any more than I do. Do you? My name is Nina. I'm from Windia. What's your name? It's Ryu. Ryu! Alright then, Ryu. Let's see if we can get out of here. Let's try running up there, I guess. Or do this. 
But Nina, you can fly. So, where are you? Where are you heading to? Stream is still running fine, right? It's running. It's looking okay, but it's being hit. Okay. You don't know? Then that means you're lost. Yes, it does. Admit it. You're lost. There's nothing to be ashamed about. I got lost a lot when I was younger. Yeah, when you were younger, and that's the key point here. <laughs> All right then, Ryu. Why don't you come with me to the nearest town? Ryu got King's Sword. You can use the sword. Oh, thanks. You might need it to get to town. We have to go through areas populated by monsters. Let's get going then, shall we? And that merchant we just ignore, because why help him? Okay. We do want to get into battle like this, because we can learn four things in this part of the game. That wasn't the correct button, but well. Uh, I wanna control you, of course. Do I need to equip it? No, I'll probably have it equipped straight away. Power 12 <laughs> has the same effect as protect. Okay. That is the grinding we will have to do, but that doesn't take like awfully long. Unlike money gathering. <laughs> that, uh, yeah. Okay, that's the scorpion. To learn stuff in this game, other than in the previous game, you have to just guard. And I do like that. Blind. We can learn that because it's blue. That's what we are aiming for. Also, you can get information on it. And it shows us that blind attack. We're good at avoiding it. There we go. We learned blind. And thus, charge up. You escape? <laughs> okay. Why not? Do that then. We found a baby frog in the desert. Yeah, that's where frogs usually live. Didn't you know that? Okay. Next enemy. That's the scorpion again. Nina was blinded. It tells you how many turns this lasts, which is a cool thing. Also, I think we need to go and camp. Leo's not looking that hard. Level ups don't heal, do they? No, not really. But we have a portable in with us, so... Who cares? Yes, I want to set up camp. 
I do like world maps more that are openly explorable, to be honest. I think I have to rest inside. Yeah, but this world map also works. At least there is a world map, which I really miss in RPGs nowadays. Sleep. Yes, I want to save. Of course I want to save. Come on, give me another battle. There we go. These enemies can't be all that rare. I would say the scorpion is the rare one, yet we encountered it twice already. Can I cut those bushes? Huh. Ah! The cap. Yeah, and here it doesn't tell us. Uh, what it can do, what we can learn. But it's distracted. A skill that, as far as I know, doesn't do anything. So we just want to get it for completion. But maybe it does something. I don't know. Maybe there is something it actually does. There we go. Brown. So while you kill them, maybe I can find out what the track it does. Oh wait, it actually might have a use. Distraction links melee combos. While this is somewhat lackluster in the very early game, it can be used with wild swing and risky shot to increase the number of hits in a combo. Huh. Yeah, okay, ultimately they are useless, but they're not completely without a use. It's just like, you can do better. Well, yeah, I wanted to know if I can cut. Ah! And yes, you can rearrange buttons, kinda. You have set sets of control types. None of it puts cancel at the circle button and the menu at triangle, so... Yeah. Ah, there are the next ones. I might need to attack those to use the, uh, to learn that skill. Let's see. Nina want to enough damage. Okay, she kills with two hits. Gotta keep that in mind. Ah, don't counter! Ugh. Just don't counter. I mean, you lost 107 HP. You don't have many more. You should use rest. There we go. And we immediately learned that perfection has been achieved. Now we kill it. And Ryu learned it, which is fine.
Yeah, the last one we need from the mage goo. I'm not sure if I should teach Nina that because it's burn and she probably can use spells anyway. Do you already have some skills, by the way? Yeah, she has seven heal. Huh. Well, I think whatever, uh, whoever it learns is fine for now. We can transfer it at camp. And if I remember correctly, I don't think it uses skill ink as well, but I'm not completely sure. Too bad I don't have the manual for this game. That would teach you that stuff. I like how tutorials are in-game nowadays. This is so much better, you don't have to have the manual ready at all the times. And also you do not have to own a manual. Not that manuals still exist, but I'm honestly fine with that. Save some three lives. Okay, Mage Goose might be more rare. A scorpion. Not the thing I need. He was blinded. That's not that good. But he hits anyway. I think I heal after this. I like the heaviness of the animation that Nina's attack does. That thing escaped again. I'm starting to wonder if that gives like a ton of XP. Yes, let me camp. At points like this, the game becomes pretty campy. Oh, we can check if uh, skills are transferred via skill ink. I don't remember ever... Do we have a candle burning? No. I smell like a waxy... I don't know. Oh. I okay, we need Aurum. And I put the bread rolls in the oven. Yeah, maybe I, maybe that's what I smelled because I don't smell anything anymore. Uh, yeah, uh, I can't remember having any struggles transferring those skills, but maybe I just didn't do it that much, or Aurum isn't as rare as skilling. Something like that. The Mage Goo! Uh, yeah, let's kill the other one, actually, first. And then burn goes to Nina, okay. Fail. Charge! <laughs> a 
Okay, we can finally continue. Though, while we are on this map, we will look for the item, of course. Uh, you can switch between characters like this, yeah. Gotta be up in that corner. Hmm. Let's try killing it again. A good crit would be nice. Preferable from Ryu. Okay, blind. Perfect. We killed it! 20 XP, well that's not that much. I'll take it. A baby frog again. Ribbit. Ribbit. Okay, now let's continue on the cliff. Hopefully it doesn't end with a cliff hanger. Now, I do know this game, like, a lot of stuff I still remember, but there's a very funny scene here. Let's see. We have to go over these cliffs to get to Sarai. Let's hurry and try to get over them before it gets dark. Gooey goo. Croc tear. The infinitely farmable item from Breath of Fire 3. There an item there. Wait, can we get there? There might be. I want to get that item. Definitely. I'm not completely sure if she can fly up in dungeons. Let's try. She can. She can. Hmm. No, no, no. From up there we don't get there. That has to be different. Huh? Ah, I see it. Haha. <laughs> the only thing that I always liked more about Breath of Fire 3 is, was how much more colorful and vibrant it is. I think that's not completely true, honestly. I think this game is just as vibrant as well, but uses, like, a lot more grayish, brownish tones due to the setting and stuff. But when there is actual color that's not brown or gray, those colors pop. Might also be a thing of CRTV versus... Like, a 4K monitor with... Wait, is it an OLED monitor? Do I have an OLED monitor? No, I don't think that. I think it was, an OLED. was it OLED? Not completely sure about that. Not that you can really see any 4K on this. <gasps> this is dangerous. Looks like we've run out of road. But don't worry. We should be able to jump over this. Yeah. Easily. 
All you have to do to jump is stand at a place where it's narrow enough to jump. And press the X button. Or move in the direction you want to jump using the directional buttons. Try it. And Nina, did you eat something weird or have a fever? What buttons are you talking about? See? It's easy, isn't it? One more to go. The funny scene is incoming, by the way, so... Yeah, have a good look. Good thing you were able to jump. We're really high up. Whoa! Don't you just love that feeling you get looking down from a high place like this? I think for a being like her, that's a quite different feeling. It makes me dizzy. It's so exciting. I don't really know what you mean. Whoa! And then he jumps after her. Do you get why this scene will be funny? Look at it. Look at it. It happens. Oh. Yeah, it happens in like five <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Especially his his eyes looking at her. Ha! <laughs> Are you all right, Rio? Did you do that because you thought I needed help? Yeah. You're not hurt, are you? I'm sorry, I didn't tell you about my wings. Oh, uh, uh I don't know if you noticed it, uh, but I have a head. I never told you guys, but that's like... Yeah, that's the truth about me, I guess, right? I mean, she doesn't really need to tell him about her wings, does he? Did the scene happen for you already? Okay, that. Okay, yeah, but like, you notice her wings, right? Yeah. They're not like invisible. If they were like, she can magically put them away and didn't take them out so far. Okay, fair. But that's not the case. I can use them to fly a little, so I can survive a fall like that. But it was very brave of you to do that, Ryu. Very brave and heroic. Thank you. Why is her upper lip blue? That is weird. <laughs> oh, when I was a child, I thought that the moon that shows up soon looks so real. I don't think it looks that real. I was like, this looks like an actual photograph. Looks like the sun's going down. It's probably safe if we wait until it's light to climb up the cliff. Let's look for a place we can sleep. There's a place we can sleep. Looks like we could camp here. Now all we need is a fire. A uh, breath of fire. And that's how I ended up here. She's like a grandma with that, uh, uh, that, that, that blanket over her legs. Where are you heading, Ryu? Uh, whoops, I forgot. You're lost, aren't you? The fire effect is kind of crazy for a PS1 game, right? Did you get the scene, by the way? Uh -oh. Did you try reloading? Oh, yeah, I did, yeah. Okay. Tomorrow, once we get to town, I'm sure we'll be able to find someone who knows you. This moon, yeah, it doesn't look like a photograph. Wait. I think it is not that... Talking about the 4K monitor now. Yeah, you're not there yet. Mm -hmm. 
So where are we now? Something is awakening. Huh. Wasn't he in the opening? So, the time hath come. Yes, my lord. Majesty. It would appear that something is amiss. Where are the courtiers? The priests? Why is there not a single voice raised in greeting at thy return? Tis not of import. They are mortals. Where are we to attempt to understand their mind? We should spend an eternity. There be more pressing matters to attend to. Canst thou not sense it, this presence? Tis far, and still slumbering. But tis what we have sought to low these many ages. Wonku, guard or place of rest. As you wish, sire. Majesty, where art thou going? We shall go to our capital, as was planned. We shall meet at the appointed place when the time hath come. So now we're a different character. Now that's interesting. We are level 64. This is PlayStation, though, so how dare you? Uh, yeah, equipment. We have a royal sword. I don't think we can unequip. They don't have shared inventory. I do think they have shared skill, though, yeah. He and Ryu have a shared skill pool. Isn't that interesting? Wait. We can return a skill right from... Oh, that's pr very practical. But yeah, basically there's not really anything for us to do except doing story here. So, well, and find some items. Okay, wait, wait, wait. They do not share the inventory. I need to find out if we can get it later when we get here with Ryu. Uh, that's why I would be interested in what volume means. Okay, yeah, we do not pick up the treasure chest with him, because then we can pick them up later with the others. So, let's check on Folu's name. Also, how do you actually pronounce him, I wonder? Ah, uh, that's a bit small there. Fu Lu is the pronunciation according to the Hiragana Katakana. That's Katakana. No, no, wait, that's Hiragana? For some reason. No, it's Katakana. No, it's Katakana. Okay. Yeah, it, it's a Kana. Uh, his name. Oh, there's a censored scene in this game. Hmm. Yeah, someone gets beheaded and they took that out. Hmm. Eh, okay. I can't find... 
find anything about his name. This has to mean something. Right? In some Chinese dialects, Fo Lu can translate to Guardian Tiger. Uh, Guardian Tiger? That's a bit of a weird name for a dragon, especially if you know about like the whole duality of tiger and dragon. Like the crouching tiger, hidden dragon stuff. That's not just a movie title, that actually has meaning. Like, look it up if you're interested. It's basically, basically like yin and yang in animal form. But well, I guess it's Guardian Tiger then. So we do not pick up any chests with him. Also, also do you want to see him, like, flexing real hard? He does not jump. He teleports. Wait, does he have... Was it? He doesn't have an action. Huh. No, no, no. It's weird, like, I see that item and I want to pick it up, but no, 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 I shouldn't. Yeah, I killed that. This cannot teach us anything. Also, his attack is very cool and he has double attack and I like that. Who goes there? What? What be you doing in this place? Huh? Who are you? They say a dragon or something is supposed to appear tonight. So we are told to watch this area. A dragon? That's right. And not just any dragon either. They say it's the legendary Dragon of Doom, which will bring ruin to the Empire. I wonder if Fulu is connected to that dragon. And what be the design for this dragon? We will destroy it, of course. Nothing can withstand the might of the Imperial Army. Yeah, a character like you always wins in a video game, right? Totally, yeah. Thou believest thou can do such a thing. Thou art but mere mortals. Yeah, that can't be good, right? Oh, look! Doesn't this look familiar? Just in a different color. Thou dost not ken the power of that which you would destroy. The spear dragon. A dragon tis force of nature unto itself. Thou mayest as well seek to fight a volcano or the very earth itself. Dragons doth give birth to thy kind. Grant thee life, and verily taketh it away. They are to thee as thou art to an insect. In thy terms. They are gods. Wouldst thou fight a god? This 
can't be good for their health. Was that a dream? <laughs> He's cold. Though with that fire inside, well, not only should they be warm, they kind of should be dead as well because uh, carbon monoxide, you know? Tis as I thought. It is not the nature of mortals to change their ways. Zinga Mountains is where we're at. Can we already transform into a dragon? Yes, we can. Not that we will do that against like an enemy like this. What does it tell us about the Zorus? Uh, yeah, we do not get to know that right now. Uh, yeah, this seems to be the correct way. Assuming we have to go up here. I hope so. This monster eats anything and everything. It loves eggs. So maybe we, when we get here, we should try using an egg on it. Oh, look at that. We do know that person. Pardon my presumption, but I believe you are the God Emperor Fu Lu. Yes. I have been expecting you. Ever since I saw the flames rising from the woods where I had placed my soldiers on watch. He looks like an egg. Thou sayest thou art waiting for us. Thou knowest of us, and what we are then. Yes, your majesty, you are the first emperor, Fu Lu, who founded our great Fu Empire. <coughs> and knowing this, thou wouldst greet us with malice in thine heart. And thine blade in hand. I'm afraid times have changed, your majesty. Now it's time to dragonize. Meditate into Astra. Yeah, use the meditate. Oh, yeah, I I already did. I I just now did that. Ah, I love this scream. Ryus is even better, and I love this dragon form. This sparked my love for humanoid dragons like this. Any infos? One of Yom's servants has a powerful fire attack. Eraser. Well, let's use Eraser. If you would combine these dragon forms and the dragon summoning like this, 
with the gene mechanic from the third one, you would have the perfect transformation uh, mechanic. Okay, that beam looked a bit like a penis. Flaming fist. That's the powerful fire attack, I guess. It's not a breath of fire. Why is the water magic called bing? Like, there are a lot of weird names. Oh, can't find anything. Really? Okay, it's called Kori in the Japanese version, which is Japanese for ice. Why is it called Bing? Bing is Korean for ice. Really now? Is that true? Not a... Okay, okay, I might have it wrong. It's not like the Korean word for ice. It says... Uh, let me check it again. Yeah, this is educational. The English names for all these spells are the Korean Hanja readings of the same kanji. So basically that's how you write Kori in in Korean, but it is not the word for ice in Korean. This is complicated. Look it up if you're interested. It's like... Uh... Yeah. Look it up if you're interested. Wild Swing! Let's try that. Let's go through all the skills here. Also, don't mind me, I'm just interested in naming stuff. That's like... a thing of mine. The D-Transformation also looks so good with the pixelation there. Like a Digimon dying. We found Ambrosia. Which is a bit pointless, as it is a revival item, and yeah, spoiler, I guess, Folu doesn't get any teammates, so if he dies, it, that's it. You appear tired, Majesty. It is to be expected, I suppose. You have just awoken from a long, long sleep. And you are not exactly complete, are you? It would appear thou dost mean not to fulfill thine duty as thou art called upon to do by your, our promise. Alas, it is as you say, my lord. For now, we would have you sleep once more. I wouldst call thee foolish, but thou art mortal, and thou cannot go against thy nature. No more than a fish could walketh upon the firmament. Still, thou wilt find that our promises are not easily broken. Return then to thine master and tell him our words. It 
trying to buy time, are you, Majesty? Set fire to the trees. We must stop him before he recovers his full strength. I know, this forest seems like hard to set on fire. It's very living and really not dry, but I guess shooting enough might work. They would use fire against us. Indeed, planned well, have they. I guess they want me fired. As I recall, your majesty has a strong affinity to water. Yes. And with your powers not fully returned, it is unlikely that you will be able to survive battle with my creations in this raging fire. We... What's thou on thy name, O oh, cunning one? Yom, general of the Folu Imperial Army, at your service. Yeah, if he has fallen down from the bridge, he probably is dead. That is, they are always dead if that happens in games and anime. I don't want to take any chances. Find the body. Grumpy Grandpa. Who? Well, we managed to make it up, didn't we? It's just a little ways more to the town. Just a bit longer. A question mark. Interesting. Ah! What was that? Uh, you're still behind, right? I don't know if you hear this too. Uh, you can hear it. Uh, let me check this out and see if I can fix it real quick. Uh. Uh. Okay, it's the game. Definitely is the game. Uh. Fix it and heal it? Let me, let me check, let me check. Let me real quick Google that.
cannot find anyone having that problem. Huh. But it seems fixed now. I I did save, so let me restart the game just in case. <sighs> Technical issues. How wonderful, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just hope it doesn't happen again. Enable the sound anymore. The sound is. Okay. Oh, wait. I did disable desktop audio. Now you should be able to hear it again. Ah, no! No! What did you do? Accidentally started Da Vinci. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Oh, well. Let it start. Okay. Item! There, item! An Aurum! Look, we found a first fishing spot. Let's check it out. I do not like fishing minigames, but let's check it out. X button and spot where the fish mark lights up to begin fishing. But I guess without a fishing rod. Yeah, I can equip a baby frog, but <laughs> that's it. Wait, that frog icon. That's cute! Yeah, so. Is there an item here? We can check that. It's funny how our camera angle is fishing. We finally arrived in Sarai! Well, Ryu, this is Sarai. Does anything look familiar? Does it bring any memories back? No? Well, I don't know what to say. But, um... I need to buy some things and get back to where my friend is, you know? Will you be alright by yourself, Ryu? Sure. Well, I guess that means we go our separate ways from here then. Goodbye, Ryu! I hope you get your memory back soon. But wait, you're the female main character. Aren't we supposed to marry at some point? I've seen this before. It's called Vinny, Veteran, Venok. Throwing your voice. It's ventriloquism. Hail, travelers! I bet you got a lot of questions, don't you? Well, then, you've come to the right place. Because I've got the answers. What do you want to know? Combo attacks. About combo attacks. I want to learn that. Well, for example, let's say one of you casts a fire spell. Then another person uses a wind spell. Those two spells will combine and create a more powerful spell. That's called a combo. There's lots of things you can combine into a combo. Experiment and see what your capabilities are. So, it would have been better if Ryu learned burn. Okay, well... Now it's too late. 
I can't believe what you charge for this. You're a crook, you know that. Don't say that. What you see is what you get. Everything's at fair market price, I swear. Yeah, always trust the merchant if they say it's a fair price. Who would know it better than them? They don't have anything to uh, gain lying to you. And now the question that's in every RPG once you started it. Can I search in pots? Uh... They say there's a ceasefire right now. Don't want to think about what would happen if the war started up again. I mean, I can hit people and get Zenny out of it. Some people say they've seen Imperial troops poking around the town lately. Makes you wonder if they're reckoning to start another war. Looking for some weapons? Wait, trade? Uh... Ah, that's like selling immediately, okay. Yeah, we buy one of you. Uh, yeah, I would equip it, I can't. The bandana lowering our speed, but that's okay. Only one that we can live with that. Brass helm. No, we won't equip that. Soul gem. Probably not gonna use it, but now we have it. Uh huh. Ha ha. Ha indeed. That's what I also thought. S Thirty zenny. Yeah, let me rest. Let me rest in pieces. Now nah, let's not save. Ooh, the bread does smell so good. Smell bread? Bread rolls? Yeah, bread rolls or bread buns or... Baked bread? No. Small baked bread, yeah. Yeah, people in chat or if you're watching the VOD in the comments, tell me, what do you call the small bread things? Do you call them bread rolls? Bread buns? Just buns. Mini breads? And don't dare say scone. You came over the cliffs from the desert. How did you manage to do that without falling off the cliffs? Uh, yeah, we, we totally did not fall off the cliffs. Some floor parts don't have any of those. Looking for anything else? Yes, actually. Uh, we store stuff. 20 HP. I'm buying like 50 of every healing item. And then we have enough room for the ones we find. A wooden rod! Baby frogs. Straight! It's only 40. Doesn't matter. Huh. There is nothing here. Goodness gracious, so much to find. This sounds a bit like a maze. 
Even I get lost in it sometimes. Hi, Nina. What? No, I don't know who you are. I do know you're not from around here, though. I haven't seen you around here before. You're passing through. I'd keep an eye on your purse if I were you. There are lots of folks here that'll try and swindle you. You be careful. What? Looking for something? What are you looking for? Need a hand? Want me to help? Hmm? You hear all kinds of things in places like this. If you're looking for something, it might be a good idea to talk to the people in here. I think... We might be too early here. Yeah, we need to come here later, I remember that. Let's do that last. Uh, yeah, I was in there. Wait, is there even anything left of the town? Yeah, 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 yeah. This town's full of narrow streets and alleys, isn't it? It's easy to get lost if you're not careful. If you're stuck in a hard-to-see spot, try changing your point of view. The only thing that worries me a bit is that there are some items we still haven't found. Like a lot of them. Who are you? If you're looking for something, you should try the tavern. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, okay, I guess the only thing we have left for now is exactly the tavern. Well, let's do this. Hey, you want to buy a treasure? I'll give you a good deal. Only 158 zenny. Yes. Thanks, don't worry, it's for real. I won't try to cheat anyone. You got lead ball. This starts one of my favorite types of side quests in RPGs that died out so heavily, sadly. This thing is for trading. Yeah, you know that whole thing, you start with a pencil and have a million at the end, which is kind of ridiculous. It's basically that, you always trade it up to get something better. Like, in RPGs, I don't mind that. In real life, uh, yeah. Fun story. Yeah, I should tell that story, I guess. We, at a school I went to once, were supposed to do that. Because they wanted to show us, hey, if you go out onto the street and make trades like this, you can, like, get something valuable out of it. And yeah, we started with a pen. And of course we got something better out of it. I don't remember what it was. The thing is... If you have that pen and go to a, f uh, a person, a stranger, and tell them, Hey, do you want to trade this pen for something else? We are coming from this school and that is what we have to do right now. The part about you coming from that school makes him trade. Because, like, people like to take part in that. If you would not mention that school, he would probably ignore you, right? This does not work. As soon as you mention you're doing it as an experiment or whatever, people are more willing to trade, obviously. Because then they see like, oh, this is a thing these poor children, basically, have to do, so let's help them out. But if you would like straight up do it without mentioning any kind of stuff like that, it would not work. I guarantee you that. 
You might find someone who would trade that. But you won't get much out of it. And the, every person who would trade with that probably thinks you are doing, well, something like that. Or they know that weird story. Mm, yeah. Story time over. Welcome, stranger. This your first time to Sarai? I was on my way here, see? When I see this big crater in the ground. Hey, that's that merchant! Good thing to see he's good. And you fell in it and lost all your stuff, right? Stuff is still there, don't worry. Huh? What is... There's a table! Yeah. Ah, some for parts. Don't know nothing about that. In case you didn't notice, this here is a tavern, not a store. Nothing in this world's for free. You want to ask someone here something? Try buying them a drink or two. Huh? You want to talk to me? Yes. Well, if you want something from someone, you gotta have the right attitude, don't you think? Okay, I'll buy you some food. You will? Well then, let's not waste any time. Do you want to read the instructions? Yes! Make the bar patron happy by giving him food and drink. Giving him food increases his food and happy parameters. Giving him drink increases his drink and happy parameters. Be careful not to let his food and drink gauge fill up before his happy gauge. His happy gauge won't go up much if you give him the same things. So try and vary what food and drink you give him. Good. I saved. So, uh... Steak. Beer. Sausage. This is kinda easy. And now wine. We just continue that. Yeah, we can just do it like this. Boy, I'm full. That was good. We didn't miss anything we could get, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, we could get antidote times two or panacea. We didn't feed him a lot of cheap stuff though, so... Either way, it doesn't matter which of these items we get. Alright then, I'll tell you what I want to know. If you're looking for something, go talk to the information broker in front of the inn. He can tell you where to find what you're looking for. Brr. I'm impressed. Don't meet many young folks as generous as you. Here, I got something for you. We got the panacea. The better one. But like I said, like... At this point, these items are just... Nothing special in general. Ryu, this person says that if we give him money, he'll buy us the parts we need for our sand flyer. I don't know if we can trust him. What? But why? Ryu, you found the parts we need? That's wonderful. Thank you very much. Excuse me, my friend Ryu was able to find the parts we need, so I'm afraid we won't be... Needing your help anymore. I have amnesia and no stuff more than she does. The sheltered life of a princess, right? I'm sorry to have troubled you. Huh? Oh, um... Sure, no problem. <laughs> so, Ryu, have you been able to find out anything about yourself or anyone who knows who you are? No, sadly not. Oh... I see. Well then, how about we stay together after we get all the parts? I'll help you look, alright? 
I mean, they are traveling around. It would make sense that I travel with them to find out more. Also, I will get money from you. That was easy. Isn't that a chest behind him there? Huh. Wait, I can get behind this. Okay, good. So we found two of the five items in here. Huh. Okay, we can play another mini game. There. Mm -hmm. I'm an information broker. What do you want to know? About San... F uh, who's Ryu? Who's Ryu? That's easy. I don't know. Hmm. I can tell you he's not from this town. You're an information broker. You should get, take money for that information. Okay, about the sunflower parts. Hmm. Well, I haven't got any of those. But I do know how you can get some. Interested? Yes. <sighs> now we're talking business. You want information, you've got to pay for it. If what you offer doesn't match how much the information's worth, the deal's off. Got it? Hmm? Guess the broker's price by entering an amount. If the amount is equal to or greater than the price, the broker will give you the information. You have four chances. Watch the broker's reaction to get clues as to how close your offer is. Do you want to... <laughs> <laughs> we have unlimited money. <laughs> huh? How much do we want to pay? I'm not even allowed to pay more than 999. <laughs> uh, I wanted to give him like a million or something. Uh, Alright, that's good enough. What do you say? Pay. Huh, payment received in full. He will eat well today. <laughs> Especially if a steak is only five zenny. I just gave him like 200 steaks. If you're looking for sandflyer parts, you have to go to the black market. There's a man who sells parts behind the tavern. We have to find out the password to be able to meet him. But most traveling merchants will tell you if you ask them. I just saw one leave, so I imagine he's... Mm, he's probably still close by. Try looking on the highway outside of town. Well, let's do that. Is the password... Password... Look, there he is. What do you want? What? Black market? In Sarai? Ah, huh, so you want to know the password to get in, huh? Well, I suppose I could tell you, but I got my own business to take care of, you know? Normally I charge people thousands of zenny for info like that. But I tell you for free. I mean, you did come all the way out here after me and all. You learned the password. You can use it to get access to the black market shop in the Sarai Tavern. Who are you talking to? Is there any item to find? This is more useful than dungeons. You have to walk so far anyway that you can just walk the rest. But like finding paths in dungeons, that's it's useful for that. But there might not be an item in this highway after all. Also, there seem to be no battles anyway, so... Good.
let's go. Oh, we can walk outside the building, I remember. Not that way, damn it. But yeah, there are outside things here. Basically, the trees hint that. And I always think it's interesting when RPGs do that. I walked a step too far! Ah! Grrr! Moby, can you do me a favor? Mm. Can you add a, a, a not redeem, a, a, no. a command of uh, Rita Canista? Doing the ah. Uh, remind me when the stream is over, so okay. that I don't block the screen. Oh yeah, that would be a good idea. Well, looks like you found me out. That guy looks like a boss I once had. Working part time, putting like items on shelves in a store. Well done, it must have taken a bit of work, yeah? Here, take this as a reward for your hard work. We got Aram. If you want to buy something, you have to tell the bartender the password first. A desert dog. Dogs are rather ice creatures, but well. Of course, people in deserts use them as well. Okay, we gotta tell the bartender the password. Eh, if we go the right way, that is. You won't find what you're looking for here. There's a tavern, not a... Password. We never learned what the password actually is, right? Uh, there's one more item we can get. Oh, you know about, uh, not one more, two more items, actually. Well, no, that's different then, isn't it? Come this way. Anything here? 40 zenny. Now we're missing one item. But it's probably down here. You're probably wondering why we go to all this trouble, aren't you? I forgot which voice I gave him. <laughs> That's because selling sunflyers is a dangerous business. See, sunflyers were originally designed as war machines. If the Empire found out we were selling them, the next time a war breaks out, they'd come after us. I don't want this place to end up on a hex. Like Chamba or Sinesta. Oh, thank you. Does that mean you don't have any sunfly parts? Not exactly. There's a place they call Sandflyer Valley near here. It's a junkyard full of old broken down sandflyers. If you go there and bring back some usable material, I'll make you your sandflyer parts deal. Which parts exactly do we even need? We cannot just take any part. Also, I think our sandflyer was just completely broken. Alright then, we'll go do this to the Sandflyer Valley and get you the material you need. Anything here? Power food! Basically that's all the items we need. Uh, we can find you. The valley's to the south of the town. Thanks. Not that it matters much because of how the world map works, but well. Let's go. Uh, if we find out of this town, that is. Oh, all oh, right. I bought a weapon stuff for her. There we go. Hmm. 
No, wait, that was Secret of Mana just now. <laughs> I kinda drifted into a different tune. Welcome to the valley of LA. Okay, there are items here. A lot. Charge! I think Ryu can also transform into a dragon now, though. Yeah, for the boss. There's our first chest. Croc tier 8. That's good. We're almost at Max Zenny. <laughs> Yay! Uh, yeah. There's a handle. Which way do we want to turn it? Left. Oh! Right, there was something like that. That's such a cool mechanic, actually. Uh, we want to turn it the other way first. Green! Oh, green means, uh, yeah, there are three colors for the battle transition. Green means I have the initiative. Red means the enemy has it. Whoa, whoa. Uh, yeah. That glitched out a bit, but... Oh, well. Uh, left? No, wait, right. Then we go down here, grab that, and go back up. So far, this game still holds up. I still enjoy this so much. I did like the third one, but I don't know, it... It was kind of badly balanced or something. It was like, yeah. The constant need of getting characters in your party and not being able to use your usual party is... Honestly, I don't really mind that if it makes me use different characters throughout the game. But it happened at so many points. And also, you realize that like halfway into the dungeon and then you have to go out to exchange them. I did not like that all that much. If like an RPG makes it like, this character is relevant for the story right now, so it he has to be in the party. Or... They have to be in the party, I guess. Could be a she as well, of course. That is great, but like... Not story-relevant characters have to be in because you need to break something. Okay, and you couldn't tell me that before or something? 
Thanks for nothing, I guess. But yeah. Still, story-wise and everything, I really enjoyed it. And I liked the characters as well. I kind of want to go down here first. Just to see that there is nothing. In this game, you can exchange the party members, like, everywhere. And it also makes sense, because while you only have three characters in the party, but... that you can use, you still travel with all six through everything. That three character limit is just for gameplay, right? I wouldn't mind if you would have, like, six characters at the same time in the party. That could work as well, but, well, they did it that way. That's fine. That's okay, but if the others are with me, which they definitely are, let me exchange them whenever. This game fixes a lot of those problems and also has the better story, in my opinion. Though, that's, of course, arguably. Do you want to operate the winch? Yes. But first we go up here, because I saw the chest. You found Brass Helm. Yeah, we equip that later. There is... I think there's some... No, we don't find anything else anyway. We can equip that right away after all. Or not? Why do you not want to equip... Oh, it's that one. Yeah. One defense for one speed. No, not if we are at 12 speed only or... I have 25 defense already, that's not... That's not preferable. I mean, basically, at least for the first four Breath of Fire installments, they kinda did it perfectly for me. The second one is better than the first one, the third one is better than the second one and the fourth one is better than the third one. Technically it, each installment should be better than the previous one. I cannot say anything about Dragon Quarter. I have a feeling it's not better than this one but we will see. We will see. We will come to that. But yeah. Also Dragon Quarter I don't know. Maybe you could see that as a side game. Though it is officially Breath of Fire 5. Woof. That's a very realistic picture of a dog. Don't get many folks out here. Ain't nothing much here except for odds and ends. What can I do for you? Huh, I see. Looking for parts, eh? Well, I suppose you might be able to find what you need, eh? If you're looking for that, there's plenty of it here. The parts you're looking for are all buried in the sand. You're gonna need a shovel to dig them out. Even if you have a dog that can send them out, you might be able to find what you're looking for. I'll loan you a shovel and a dog for 25 zenny each. I'll take both. Thank you kindly, good luck to you. We can find some items here. Yeah, let's read. Press X to use the shovel to dig a hole where you're standing. However, the shovel will break after it's used a certain number of times. 
If it hits metal, it will weaken and break more easily, so be careful. Remember where the dog stops. It knows where items are buried. Okay. Let's try and get all items. Okay, right over there. There. And there. Do I have to be very exact? Okay. We got a sage staff. Oh! Uh, Vic Deacons, 188. Hello, welcome to the chat. How are you doing? Hello there, nice game. One of my favorite RPGs. Yeah, it, it's so good. I am at the very beginning. Yeah, I just started today, like, yeah, almost two hours ago. The next one was here, I think. Nothing. Uh, damn it. There it was. A glass shard. That sounded very metallic for a glass shard. And then the last one, I was it here? Around here somewhere. Found it. The ship parts! The shovel broke. Yeah, I want to get the other items though. Your shovel broke, did it? One of them's the brakes. Ha ha ha! If you need me, you know where to find me. Yeah, I need you. Both. I don't need to read the instructions again. You know what? You could, like, use little post-its to mark where it barks. Okay, so far so easy, I think. Only showed me two this time. I think here? No. Let's start with this one. I remember this one. That's the Molot we unburied a Molotov. Uh well. <laughs> Shovel broke. Well at least we got the Molotov. Let me do it again. And so yeah, I only used one cheat and that's for money because uh, it saves on the grinding. So don't be confused by the amount of money we have. Okay. Ah, there's like an O in the sand there. Makes it easy. Instead of barking, can you poop where you find something? Would be a nice little marker. Then you need to dig poop. I just shove it to the side. The flat top. And then the other one is here. A uh, magic shard. And now I just we guess we just dig at random until the shovel breaks. What kind of shovels are those anyway? This is desert sand we are talking about. Ah no 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 not only the shovel oh. I pressed too fast. Oh well. 
No, I... Ah! Okay. Now, let's go. I just choose random spots, I guess. We found something, really? It's just plain iron scraps. Do we still have those in our inventory now? Huh. Is that an actual item or not? It is. Could be used to make armor. Oh. Both, please. No, no instructions. Uh, there's one more glass shard to be found, and that's it. And Doggo seems to have a problem finding the glass. Uh, can I get my money back? Or did we find two when we found that one? I didn't really pay attention to the quantity. Whoops. Yeah, I guess we have everything in that case. Shovel broke. We have so many mini games already. I love that. Where did the mini games disappear to, right? The only one that comes in mind from a recent game is Star Ocean Divine Force with the Esowa mini game. And that's a really, really solid mini game because it adds like a whole board game to the game. It could use a bit more balance because, yeah, some pieces are just way too overpowered. <laughs> but, well, it's a game in a game, not an actual game, so I guess that's fine. It helps you win just by having higher numbers, which is fair for those who aren't that good at the game, in the game. Oh, and also tomorrow we'll start Mega Man Battle Network 3. The blue version, not the white one. Because that has some extra stuff the other doesn't. Oh, well, not really extra, just different, but... It has the better stuff. Also, a weird thing I found out. In the Japanese originals, they weren't called white and blue version but white and black version. Why change black to blue? Like, white and black makes sense, right? Did they think black is too evil for children? Someone tell them that black is a color. And nothing more. In before some artists arguing, black is not a color. Because black is a color. The funny thing is, is when they explain it. Black is not a color because it's what you get when you mix all colors together. So if you m mix all colors together, you get not a color? That doesn't make any sense, right? You could argue that for white, be having like the absence of all color, but that's also not true. Because when you go to the color of light, white is actually when you add all colors together. So, yeah. 
Also use black and white for coloring, right? So... There's that. Don't be afraid. I just want some information, that's all. I want you to tell me all about the monster you say you saw. Huh. I ain't got nothing to tell you. Puh. Well, I try to be a little more cooperative if you, I were you. Ouch. Otherwise, things might get a little uncomfortable. Let's just imagine... Imagined? A merchant, you asshat. And we wouldn't want that, now would we? What do you think you're doing? Why is that lady just standing there and, like, watching? Wh why are you doing this? I thought the war was supposed to be over. Why? Because I don't like people who try to hide things. Besides... The war's not over. There's been a ceasefire called. That's all. Yeah, usually a ceasefire means that it's basically over because... Once you agree to a ceasefire, you are on a certain common ground that you can agree on a ceasefire. And the motivation of your troops to go back into war after finally having a ceasefire is really low, right? Nobody, like, wants to get out there again. Do you understand the difference, Missy? Wait. You're Windian. Well, well, if it isn't the little princess. We were sent out to find a dragon, but we found a little bird instead. Grab her, man. No reason we shouldn't take her as well. Wait. Do you know something about my sister? By the power granted me, I command thee. Warrior spirit, thou art summoned. Jo. I want you to capture that girl. Be careful not to hurt her too much. Dong, 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 dong. Uh, I cannot learn anything from that thing, right? Yeah, no. Sava! It sounds like she's saying seizure, which is, uh, yeah, please don't get one. <laughs> one of Rasso's fighters has a poor sense of balance. Ah. And with wind, you can throw it off balance, I would say. That's what it misses mostly. Seva! <laughs> nice parry! Joe is thinking of what to do next. Okay. Uh, how about dying? I would like that. No? How about now? Down it goes. You routed the enemy. My, you're stronger than you look. 
Why did it take Ryu so long to interfere? Oh, what's this? A dashing knight come to save the princess. How gallant. You know it's a knight's job to protect his lady, don't you? Where have you been all this time? Afraid? Hiding in some closet? Oh. My shot broke! Sorry! How dare you! You filthy little... Let's get out of here! And I ran, I ran so far away. What are you just standing around for? After them! Okay, let's escape, I guess. Something happens here. Okay. okay, 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 The Imperial troops are here too? What are we going to do? We can't go back and we can't go on either. Quay! Hey, you there! They said they was gonna try and cut you off. Went up on ahead. Lucky you didn't get yourself scared. Yes, still. They've cut off our way out of here. Uh, you got a point there. Tell you what, seeing as you all helped me out back there, I want to try and return the favor. Let me see. Maybe if you took that road, you could get past them. Yeah, that's it. You can get to the desert that way. You mean, there's another road? Well, it's kind of out of the way, but if you head north, go up to this big town called Chamba. You can get to the desert that way. Really? Oh, thank you. That means I can get back to where my friend is waiting. Well, we'll try that route you mentioned. Thank you again so much. No problem. Just keep your head low. And try not to get caught, eh? Did you say something? But I think this is the perfect point to stop today, right? Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna save. And then we have a look. Let me get full, full cam. Let's look who we are going to rate to die. Who is online? Okay, I see someone and... Also others? How about... Honestly, let's go to the Mad Mallard. Because why not? Right? Mm -hmm. Always a good time over there. So let's do that. And while we raid over there, check out the links in the chat leading to my Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. And so, if you're watching the VOD on YouTube, they are down below. As well as to my YouTube, or, well, Twitch. Where I live stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's also where the VODs of the last week released. So, uh, are released. So, yeah, see you there. Which is what I hope. And uh, I totally messed up my outro now. Bye, me. Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. I'm a trainer and I